Hi, this is Nancy Forlini from Remax Solution, and I want to share with you today market update for the first trimester for the greater Montreal region of how well the market is doing in 2024. If you remember in 2023, everybody thought that 2024 would be a hard market, price would go down because of the interest rate and people were not shopping. Well, the statistics says otherwise. So listen carefully because it might have an impact on the decision that you will make this year to either go forward and buy a property or maybe make the decision and make a move and sell your property to go do your project, your next project. So for the greater Montreal, okay, in the total sales, there's been an increase of 20% compared to the first trimester of 2023. It's significant because 2023, the first trimester, we still had interest rates that were low and the market was still doing well and we have an, an increase of 20%. If we look at the new listing on the market, it's an increase of 19%. And in terms of the volume of sales, right? An increase of 29%. So what it means is that prices are continuing to go up. If we break it down more into the different type of properties, if we go with single dwelling, well, single dwelling has an increase of 20%, and this is for the, all the greater Montreal, we will go more specifically after. And for the average price, there's been an increase of 6%. So we pass from an average price of $524,750 to $555,000 for the median price for the greater region of Montreal. If we go on the condo, okay, on the co-ownership, there's been an increase of 17% with a price increase of 4%. So it went from 380, $380,000 to $395,000. And in terms of plexes, two to five apartments, there's been an increase of 26% and prices went up of 6% from 700,000 to $740,000. Now, if we focus on the Montreal region right now, just the island of Montreal. So the island of Montreal, 20% increase, okay? And in terms of single dwelling, 28% increase. There's been an increase in price. So the median price for a single dwelling on the island is $737,000 compared to the first trimester 2023, that was $690,000. So an increase of 7%. So prices are still going up. If we look at the condos, so there's been an increase of 16% and for the median price, it went from $430,000 to $455,000 for an increase of 6% increase. And for the plexes for two to five apartment, there's been an increase of 22% and in the price, it increased of 3%. So a little bit lower than the single dwelling and the, con the condos for the island of Montreal, but we'll see other differently in Laval and the North Shore. But the price went up from 755,000 to 778,500. So it's quite still significant. If we go on the Laval region, okay? If we go to our neighbors in the North, the sales of single dwelling has increased of 8%. It went from 518,700 to $545,000. For the condos, it went up 11% from 380,000 to 382,000. So it's not too significant, only 1% uh, increase. And for the plexes, listen carefully, for the plexes in Laval, it went up 73%, the number of sales and the prices, the median price went up 25% from $633,500 to $795,000. This is quite a big increase. So the Plexus Laval doing very, very, very well. And if we go a little bit further in the North Shore, we will see similarity with Laval. So the increase of the sales for single dwelling is 19% of the number of sale, 
the prices went up 5%, so from 477,500 to 500,000. And for the co-ownership, it went up 15%, and the price went up 5%. So higher over here from 320 to $335,000 for the first quarter 2024. And for the plexes, the sales went up 10% and the prices went up 29%. So the median price went up 29% from 505,000 to 649,500. There's still people thinking that the market is not doing well. They're still thinking that, oh my God, it's really not a good market to either buy or sell. Well, the statistics shows otherwise. And if we go to our neighbors on the south, in the south shore, well, the single dwelling went up, the numbers of sales 29%, and the prices went up 8% for single dwelling from 520,000 to 560,000. And for the condos, it went up 25%, the numbers of sale, and the prices 7% from 349,000 to $375,000. And for the plexus, two to five apartments, there's been a num the numbers of sale went up 56% and the prices went up 9% from 621,750 to $680,000. So as you can see, the market is doing very well. We have an excellent first quarter and most probably second quarter is going to follow the same. So if you're still on the fence of buying, prices are going up. If you're still on the fence since last year, prices are still going up, even though the interest rates are higher than they were, which they will probably never go back to what it was when it was around the 2%. So make a decision and invest in a property. And if you are thinking of selling and you thought that you missed the boat, well, I don't think so. Prices still continue to rise. So if you're thinking of selling, well, the second quarter of the year is one of the strongest quarter of the whole year because people are still looking to move in July. Inventory is a little bit more than it was, but it's still relatively low. And interest rates right now, people got used to the increase, even though there probably will be some decrease later on, maybe around July, maybe the said the third quarter. We'll see when it happened. But if prices still continue to go up, what are you waiting for? So if you need any help and you would like to know more about the value of your property, please contact us. Our coordinates are right here. And if you thinking about selling and you would like to have a buyer consultation, well, let us know. It will be a, really our pleasure to help you getting your dream home. So I'm Nancy Forlini. I want to thank you for listening and watching. And if I can help you, well, just let us know. On that, have a great day.